Colleen here, DIYer Behind Lemon Thistle.com, and today I am excited to share this fall tablescape with you guys as part of the DIY Mummies Fall DIY and Home Decor Challenge. Creating a fall tablescape every year is one of my very favorite things that I do. We love to host a Friendsgiving every year where we invite our friends over for dinner, but as it has grown with many children, and I, I mean, we don't all fit around the table anymore, so now we have like kids at a kid's table and adults and adults in the living room and everywhere. I don't go quite as crazy for the dinner itself, but I still really love to put together a tablescape. And so this will come together so quickly on that busy night now that I've practiced. Before I get into the details, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss it on any more DIY or home decor videos. All right. The first thing that I like to do after I clean my table, of course, is to gather all of my supplies together. Everything that I'm thinking I might use in the tablescape, from candle holders to mini pumpkins, straw flowers, cutlery dishes, napkins, any foliage. I had asked my husband to pick up mini pumpkins for me last year and he came back with these tiny little things from the craft store instead of the mini pumpkins from the grocery store that I love to get. So this year I was determined to use them so I painted them up some beautiful fall colors. These ones are from Fusion Mineral Paints, and then I think the tan is from Martha Stewart Crafts. I actually painted these pumpkins before I did anything else, and I was trying to decide what to do with them when I decided I loved the colors for a tablescape. All right, so the first thing that I did was get my leaves out for the base of the table runner. So I've used leaves in table runners lots of times in the past. I will link all the tablescapes on my blog, but there's a lot of them. For this particular tablescape, I purchased these leaves. I usually go on forage, but I just didn't have time or energy for it this time around. So I got two stems of this purpley leaf one and then one stem of that tiny little spray eucalyptus. These other three stems of eucalyptus were actually in a floral arrangement that I already had in my house, so I just pulled those out to use. So after I added the two main branches there, I added in the stems of the true blue eucalyptus, and then I started adding in pumpkins. I saved the spray eucalyptus for later because I wanted to have my plates in place first so I knew how far out I could go with this garland down the center. These are actually com kombucha squashes, and uh, then there's some acorn squashes in there as well as the mini pumpkins. All of that is from the grocery store. And then if you need a snack break, take a snack break apparently. All right, so then I went in and I started adding all of my candle holders. And for this, I had three of these kind of gold mercury glass candle holders. I got these years ago for like 10 cents, I think, from Target. And then I also used some vintage cream and sugars with tea lights in them. And I just threw those in down the garland. And then I added in the tiny little elements it's kind of a good idea, I find, to go from biggest things to smallest things when you are decorating a table or anything really. Like if you get those big things in place, then you can add the smaller things in around it. So the smaller elements that I had here are these tiny little pumpkins that I painted and then straw flowers that I popped off the stems. I just started putting them around and then I moved them around as I add more stuff. So I've cut out a lot of that moving it around, but you can see it's really just playing. Last but not least, I got clipping that eucalyptus spray. I clipped some pieces for on each of the place settings and then I clipped larger chunks for down the garland. So I placed those larger stems kind of down the garland to stick up and stick out. And if you want to adjust how the leaves sit, you can see I've done this with the pumpkins a few times, but you can use the pumpkins to kind of make them turn or make them stick out or whatever. Next, I brought my dishes in. When your table runner starts to feel a little bit full, it's a good idea to bring your dishes in so you don't end up having to change it or scale it down after it's perfect. So I set my table with plain white dishes. I love these ones. I'll link them down below. And I did a plate and then I did a pasta bowl in this case. And then I have these beautiful lightweight napkins that are all full of wrinkles and texture and I love them. They're from a local store here and I just 
toss those in each of the bowls instead of folding them and I popped one of those mini boo pumpkins on top. And I tossed one of those mini boo pumpkins on top with a sprig of that spray eucalyptus. Then I added the cutlery. I have this matte black flatware from Ikea. I found that it holds up really well and it looks so beautiful on tablescapes. As I put the flatware on, you'll notice I'm adjusting some of the garland and some of the little flowers that were in the way of the flatware. So that's why I suggest doing the place settings sooner rather than later so you don't have to adjust absolutely everything. Next, I hand lettered on the pumpkins. I have an entire post about hand lettering on pumpkins, but I love these markers. I'll link them down below. I used script for the girls' names and I used black letters for the boys' names and I kind of love all the mismatched lettering at this table. I used my kids' names, so they actually wanted these pumpkins to have in their bedrooms, so they're gonna take them after we have our fancy dinner tonight to their bedrooms to decorate for fall. I definitely recommend the block letters when you are lettering on these little pumpkins because they do have quite a few ridges, which makes it harder to do the curved letters. So, lesson learned. My camera stopped recording, but I did also add water glasses to the table. And then before your guests arrive, you can light those candles and pour some water in the glasses. Then you're ready for your dinner party. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I love the colors. I love the warm glow from the mixed metal candle holders. I just love everything about it. Fall tablescapes are definitely my favorite type of tablescape. I am just in love with how cozy they make everything feel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. And if you're looking for more amazing fall decor and DIYs, make sure to hop around the playlist. It is the DIY Mummies Fall DIY and Home Decor Challenge, and I will link the playlist below. We'll see you guys next time.